Tutorials by Andrew Buckle. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can use the brick fill feature that you can find in the edit menu in Photoshop. Now, it's changed a bit from previous versions. You can, if you go back to, I think, 2014, it's done slightly differently. So if you're using that version, some of the features will be different. But with this version, 2018, you've got it basically standardized now, and it's been like that for a little while. So what you can do, just kind of remove that. So now I've actually got a couple of Gradient, that should, there's a gradient there. I've used that as a pattern source. Just go edit and then define pattern. You can always go uh, just create a little rectangle of brick for and then sort of gradient fill design. Which, of course, you can what you can do, you can select different areas and then use the define pattern again. Right, I'm going to do, go back to that and, and then go to edit and fill. And I'm going to use first this one. I'm just going to go for that gradient pattern. That's the key thing. Set the pattern there, custom pattern. Set the script on brick fill. There's a whole range obviously of things there. They're just JavaScript files, so you actually can go and edit the JavaScript file if you want to. I must admit, I've tried it a few times, and you can do create some nice, interesting variations. See, like here, random one. Now you can also set the blending mode, and then click OK. Now at this point, what you can see, you've got this lovely little dialog and you can then modify the scale so you can push it all the way down there you can also push it out that way keep it around there you can also modify the space and so you can go other way you don't have to you can make it very very hardly see anything at that point and you can push it out that way but I'm just going to keep it there so you can actually see the the ground there now also offset between rows you can actually move that along and just move that backwards and forwards and I'm just going to go for the about 50%, perfectly reasonable. So you can just see 50% there, there, and there. Okay, color randomness, so you can push that up, so you can go for the extreme color. I'm just going to keep that back there, and brightness, and there's you can see the actual pattern tile. So you can push that up fairly high. And also, you can rotate the pattern. Now, I'm not going to do that, but you can do it. So, right, once you've actually done that, click OK. And you can see the design there. Now, what you can also do, you can also apply it to a layer. That's another thing. I'm just going to go back now and just going to go all the way back to that fill. I can say new layer. So, layer, new layer. And then what you can do, you can just go to here and say edit and fill, and it will work with a new layer. So just use what I had before. I'm just going to click there. I'm not going to change anything. So it's added to a new layer. Right, once you've actually done that, you can, of course, what you can do, you can create other layers. So you can create three, four, five, six, use blending modes between them. So you could actually just go here, create a new layer, and then edit, and then apply another one. So fill, just like that. So I'm not going to do that at this point, because what I want to show is a layer, and smart objects convert smart objects. So once you've got that as a smart object, what you can do then, you can go and apply image, say like, View saturation, modify that, colorize. So just move it there. Maybe go for the green. Got a nice green glow there. Click OK and got that. What you can also do, of course, is you can go to something like Liquify or any of the other filters that are available and just apply a whole range of distortions there. Again, like I say, once you've actually got that, you can go and do the same. So you can see what you can do, actually combine it to create some really weird and wonderful designs. So not particularly looking like a brick in raw. Now, what you can do, I'm just going to go back again. So, new. I'm not going to use that, obviously, that's, I've just was showing you the fact you can use a fill and smart objects and all that sort of stuff with that. Now, I'm going to go with the other one. So, edit and fill. Now, the one thing is, it's in this panel. So, what you have to do, you, once you've gone into the other panel, the only way to cut them out is obviously just cancel it. You change it here. So, you can just change the, uh, I'm just going to go for that brick there and again going for brick fill and script click OK and then you can see the design there again see the color randomness you can actually create a whole range of different designs there brightness modify that up and down spacing again you can modify that and again go the other way just make them very very and create a very odd design once you actually go further and further down again keep it like that with some plaster and everything in between now, 
click OK, and then you've got the design again. Of course, once you've actually got it, you can then go and apply other effects. You can apply, of course, image adjustments, maybe invert, so on and so on. And now I'm just going to go to the last one. Just going to go new, and, and now edit and fill. And game pattern, got that one there, and I'm just going to go for that. All that one, both the same. So, again, make certain you've actually got brick fill because sometimes I've gone into it and what happens, it just runs the standard pattern because sometimes it, and I've actually noticed occasionally when the script seems to be on, it still runs it. I don't know why, but I have no say. Click OK, and you've got design there, and you can see the gaps. Actually, in this case, it might actually be nice just to do that so you can modify, have both the randomness there and then click OK, and you've got the design there. And you can see design nicely applied as bricks with a very, very colourful scheme. And again, you've got liquify, 3D, whatever you want to do. So you can apply some lovely new mesh, great depth map, and create a wonderful sort of plain design just using that brick fill. So I think brick fill is a great little feature. But, you know, maybe not every use for every sort of thing, but it certainly has its uses for a whole range of different designs, like maybe frames, and I say 3D, once it actually gets to run 3D, ah, oh, there it is. So you can see the 3D design and rotate that around. So you can create some great 3D models just using the brick fill. Hope you found some interest. Thank you much.